PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Steve from APC, and I'm the course director here at APC. In this video, we're going to talk about the SIMA P1 management accounting. So the first part of this video is where we're going to talk about the syllabus. So what the SIMA P1 is going to test you about is this four aspect. You can divide that into four chapters. Okay. The first chapter being related to costs. So we're going to talk about quite a lot of these ways to allocate the costs to each of these products in turn. So why this is so important is because, for example, if you're going to uh, sell the bottle, for example, if you're going to sell the bottle, for example, twelve dollars per bottle, how are you going to set to that twelve dollars as the same price? So before you set to that twelve dollars as the same price, you have to know the costs associated with that bottle. Otherwise, if the cost is to be $20 but you sell only at $12 per bottle, of course you end up making a loss of $8, yeah? So it's very, very important for you to set to that cost using appropriate techniques before you do anything else. Is that difficult? Well, the answer for that is certainly no. Because we know that the direct material, direct labour associated with that bottle and that is not that difficult because it's all written in the invoice but what is more difficult is how we're going to allocate the overhead for example the overhead expenses for example in order to manufacture this bottle we have to employ the staff to work for me and we provide the meals to our staff we've got our canteen yeah so that, of course, our staff producing these bottles may have the meal free of charge provided by the company in the canteen. And all of these electricity expenses that incurred within the canteen has to be accounted for. How are we going to link that expenses directly to each of these products of bottle? Of course, that needs to be questioned. Of course, we like to use quite a lot of these techniques to do that. For example, we're going to use the absorption costing, we're going to use the activity based costing as well. Uh, also within the cost accounting system, we're going to discuss the concept of lean manufacturing. So lean manufacturing means we're going to minimise the, uh, uh, I mean the, the waste uh, that the company incurs. We're going to maximise the efficiency uh, that the company has. So the way that we're going to do that, one of the ways that we're going to do is where we're going to use the throughput accounting helping us to do that. Of course, we're going to also discuss about some of the impact on the environment, such as the environmental costing needs to be uh, detailed in the cost accounting system in the section A. And after we look at the costs within the organisation, we're going to start to talk about the budget. So what do I mean by budget is what I mean by forecasts which means we're going to look into the future. So why this is so important is because if you haven't made any budget at all, you will keep spending money away, yeah? But that is not efficient at all. So you have to know your costs. For example, if you budget to sell the bottle at $12, you have to set to the costs with that product first before you set to that $12. So you may go to ask your production department how many staff that you've employed during this year to, uh, to manufacture this bottle so that you can end up with the costs, with the estimated costs. We're going to use these estimated costs to set up the estimated profit that the company is going to make. Of course, setting up budget, absolutely important. And once you look at the budgeting section, section C is where we're going to uh, make the short term decision. So how are we going to make the short term decision is absolutely important as well. For example, you're going to make the pricing decision, which means how much you're going to set up in order to sell it to the final customer. You're going to set it up at $12 or $10 or maybe $10.99 per bottle. It's entirely up to you. These are the techniques that you can use. And also, 
you're going to think about the iPhone as well as the, uh, uh, I mean, iPad. I think iPads are using the market skimming strategy. This means that at the at the time that the iPhone and iPad are launched into the marketplace, the price for those products are relatively high. Because we expect there would be a short life for those uh, high-tech products, we expect the price to fall and fall and fall very, very quickly. So that at the time that we launch the product, we're going to set the prices too high. Firstly, because we set the prices too high, not many customers will buy it so that we don't have to produce quite a lot to these iPads as well as the iPhones to sell. At the same time, we can enjoy a very, very high profit margin at the start. So we expect the prices to fall. Even though it falls, it falls from the high prices originally so that to the company, uh, so we're going to reduce that risk to a certain level. So that's the short term decision making. Of course, there would be other decision making uh, tools uh, as well as techniques we're going to look at in a due course. And finally, section D of the syllabus is what we're going to deal with the risks as well as the uncertainty. So, may I ask you a question? Is risk a good thing or a bad thing? Well, you may say to me, well, risk is the bad thing because, uh, I mean, for example, I run the risk of suffering a loss, so risk is the bad thing. But to some of the extent, if the company is not taking risks at all, the company will make no profit at all because you're not going to do anything new. You're not going to do anything. So that's how we're going to deal with that risk as well as the uncertainty. Whether or not we should be able to avoid that risk. Whether or not we should be able to accept that risk. We're going to use quite a lot of these techniques helping us doing that. For example, we're going to use the pay off table to make our decisions under risk uncertainty as well. Of course, those will be covered in the due course. That's what the Sigma P1 is testing you about. Okay, that's the management accounting. The section two of this video is where we're going to talk about the assessment method uh, uh, for the Sim P1 exam. There will be 90 minutes for you to sit this exam. And all of these questions are the objective test questions. So not only Sim is testing you the multiple choice questions, the numbers and cheese question, yes or no questions etc uh, there'll be other types of questions but they are not written questions they're not comment questions because the common questions uh, would be uh, left to the integrated case study exams and there'll be 60 questions in there and the passing marks is 70. so why is 70 so in the past the passing marks for the sim exams is only to be 50 but right now it's increasing up to 70. So why this is the case is because SIMA is going to increase the quality of the management accountant. So think about it this way, if you've got the accountant and you are the boss, you're going to employ the accountant, you ask the accountant how many marks that you've got in your SIMA exams. And if the accountant says to you, I only have got 50 marks, I'm very good at the debit side, but where does the credit side go into, I have no idea. Would you still recruit that particular person to uh, work as the accountant for you? So if I were you, I would never do that. So of course, increasing the marks to 70 would surely increase the quality for the multiple accountant. The section three of this video is where we're going to talk about how APC can help. So not only are we going to provide you with the HD quality pre-recorded videos, detailing the syllabus, what are they and how each of these topics might be examined in the sim exams by relying on our videos of course you can surely pass the sim p1 exams within the pre-recorded videos we also have got the experts videos as well where we've employed some of the experts in the marketplace to give you their experiences of how to prepare for the sim p1 exam and the exam techniques how we're going to revise it as well uh, also, we've got our own study notes. Own study notes is um, complying with the latest SIMA syllabus, 
and you can rely on it and with lots of exercises in it of course you can pass these exams with our help of course we've got the tutor support as well if you've got any questions during your study email our tutor and we will provide you with the answer we will have to pass guarantee in our course as well this means that if you fail the exam you can enroll in the course again free of charge until you pass your simp one exam and we are sure that with our help you can pass your simp one exam easily so happy studying and looking forward to seeing you in the actual class a p c accounting for your future